Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast. I'm Kelly Thomas, the Crochet Profit Queen, and I'm going to show you how you can make a living from your crochet while avoiding the burnout and being able to make what you want and when you want. Have you signed up to the Crochet Business School newsletter yet? Don't forget to do that now at crochetbusinessschool.com forward slash subscribe and get tips and free resources straight to your inbox. Should I offer crochet kits? Well, there's two parts to this. Now, crochet kits are incredibly popular. They are definitely going to sell, no doubt about that. But there are pros and cons to this. And you have to decide whether it's right for you. So the reason crochet kits are so popular is because you get everything in a box. You get the pattern, you get the yarn, you get any accessories you need, and you might even get a hook as well. You've got everything that you need. You don't have to go shopping. You don't have to figure out what yarn that is used, if you have enough, where you can get the accessories from, is something out of stock. Ugh. It's all in a box, ready and waiting for you. And they make great gifts, especially for Christmas. A crochet kit makes a great gift and it's all there. You know, you can't really gift a crochet pattern unless it's a book because it's, well, it's just a pattern. And so it saves you going, um, figuring out what to buy from a shop. It's just all there. So they are very popular. When I sold one I made, I did offer some kits and I sold all my stock. They did go like hotcakes. They sold better than just the pattern on its own. The downside to kits is that you have to keep stock. It means you have to go out and buy all the supplies and hope they sell. You also have to go post them which if you're only selling a few at a time can be a bit of a faff. Once you get up to, if you're selling larger volumes, then you can arrange to have them picked up from your home. But if you're only selling a few, you have to go and take that trip to the post office and then, you know, run the lottery of the parcel actually arriving in one piece. So that is the downside. However, they do sell. They sell really well. But how can you do this and not have a ton of stock in your house and, you know, keep it profitable for yourself? Because if your kit is overpriced, it's going to put people off. They're going to want to know what they're getting for their money. And these days, people are really savvy. They want value for money and they want to feel that they're getting it. So how do you offer these kits without having tons of stock everywhere, and that is going to keep them an, at an affordable price for your customers. Well, this is where being fussy with what yarn you use in your business as a whole comes in. Because the best way to give the best deal is to buy the yarn and any accessories at wholesale. Wholesale means buying in bulk. It means a whole lot of yarn coming in. So really it only becomes kind of doable if you're offering several kits that use the same yarn. Not necessarily the same colours, but the same brand. So for this example, let's say you use a Stylecraft Special DK. It's a very popular yarn, easy to get hold of in several countries. And it's always in stock. It's not a... Um, limited edition thing. It's a staple. Has been for years. Customers know the brand, so they're happy that they know what they're getting. And you can buy it wholesale. And it comes in lots of different colours. So how does this work? So say you have several patterns. You need to make all those patterns available in 
with um, your yarn yardage as Starcraft Special DK. So if you're offering the kits, you can show what the colorways look like. And you can say, well, I can also do it in these other colors, but don't go overboard. You don't want, you know, floor to rafters is stop, uh, piled up with yarn for these kits. You want to get selective. And don't forget, customers can get overwhelmed with color choices. So it's always better to have a small offering of colors so they don't get overwhelmed by that choice. So offer limited colors and in only one yarn brand that you use for several of your patterns. And that means that if a kit for one pattern is not popular, you can still use that same yarn in the kit for a more popular pattern. It makes the yarn interchangeable. So you can buy it in bulk, but you have not decided in advance which kit that yarn is going in because you can use it for all of them. That is how you keep kits at an affordable price. It also means that you are not risking buying all that yarn for a single pattern kit. You are spreading out the risk over several patterns. And once you've got this going, you will see which kits are the most popular. And if they're not proving very popular at all, you can retire a kit, but you don't risk the yarn. You just use the yarn for others. And that is the most efficient way to offer crochet kits as part of your business. There is no way around having stock, holding stock to produce these kits. You can't sell one, buy the stock in and then send it out. One, that means you cannot buy in bulk. You cannot buy wholesale prices. So it's going to make things more expensive, either for your customer or you make less profit. And if you're making less profit, it might not be worth your time to do these. You also risk the yarn being out of stock at that time, which then just means that the time to delivery just gets pushed longer and longer. And you're going to end up with some very unhappy customers. Because don't forget, for things like this, people are used to Amazon, that dispatch same day. So you can't have huge lead times for something like a kit because that is supposed to be sitting on a shelf ready to go. So you do have to plan this in advance and get the stock in advance. Now, kits are very popular. So if you are selling what you make and you have patterns, then kits fit well because you're going to have stock anyway if you're selling what you make. If you want to make, say, um, a bit of extra money quickly over Christmas, kits can do that. They will bump up your pattern sales because they will sell your patterns as well. It's your pattern that sells the kit, not the yarn. They make great gifts. Um, they make great gifts for the for yourself as well. And so people buy kits for themselves as well as for loved ones. And Christmas is the prime time for this. So should you offer kits as part of your business? Well, that is up to you. You have to weigh up the pros and cons and decide whether you want to hold stock, whether you are prepared to buy your yarn at wholesale, pr wholesale prices. And that means hugely buying in bulk. Or whether you'd rather not have that hassle and just sell the patterns. You have to decide what fits best for you and your business. But any questions, please do come to the Facebook group. The link for it is in the show notes. And I hope this has given you something to think about. So thank you for listening. And I shall see you next time for the next episode. Bye for now.